Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel. And I am the host. My name is Catherine, and you can call me Queen. I'm here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have timeless readings for all of our beautiful Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a general love reading, so take this message, how it resonates with you and with the energy that is around or in the person closest to you. All right, so we are doing the extended cancers this is for your energy those of you dealing with a scorpio all right and right now cancer it looks like this scorpio has been leaving a door open for a queen of wands from the past someone that you know has been uh, pretty much involved with their person in this third party energy um and you, Cancer, although you have dealt with this for some time and you have stuck it out with this person, um, you are at the point, Cancer, where you are no longer being patient. I feel like you have been patient for a long time while this person juggled you in that Three of Wands energy here with this Two of Pentacles, um, with this King of Swords and Ace of Cups, Cancer, I feel like you have given your person the ultimatum and you're playing it cool here um, with the King of Swords, but you are super, um, super on point and letting this person know very matter of factly, if you don't, I'm gone. And I feel like this person, Cancer, um, there is going to be an issue of you know, you just kind of taking a step back because in the future here, we see this Knight of Wands. We see this Knight of Wands appears to be afraid of this Ace of Cups here that you have offered, okay, in this ultimatum. And with sudden change, Cancer, you're done. You are done. You've made a decision to move on with the Five of Pentacles like this person is blocked. This person can't speak to you with the five of cups. There are going to be some sad singing and maybe a few flowers are going to be brought. But this is going to be very terrible for this person when you walk away. Let's go ahead, Cancer, and look at the challenges that you are going to face when you do walk away from this person i'm wondering if this person is going to let you walk away um but if all else st stays the same and even along the way um let's just see what the challenges are going to be for you and this scorpio holy spirit angels and guides what clarity what guidance what love messages do you have for cancers and scorpios please Holy Spirit, angels, and God. Okay. And you have the Seven of Pentacles again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, the Ace of Swords, Cancer, and the Seven of Cups, Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Ace of Swords. Listen. Linda, I'm going to tell you right now, here's the challenge. Sevens, first of all, represent someone having fear. It represents someone being completely afraid. Cancer. Um, seven of Pentacles, we already talked about someone being patient. And with the Seven of Cups, Cancer, it's like somebody is looking at their options and trying to make a decision. All right. The Ace of Swords, this talks about someone who is coming in with a truth, Cancer, or someone who is looking for a truth, trying to cut through the lies, trying to get past all the BS so that the real deal can come out. I feel like this is your energy here that is causing this scenario. And this person right now, Cancer, I feel like you have been patient while, you know, this person is, is taking their time. Um, but there is going to be a level of this person running out of time for this Cancer. And that's where you come in with the Seven of Pentacles. Will you have enough patience to allow this person to go back and forth or to come clean or to be honest with what it is that they actually want? Hmm. 
let's go ahead and clarify. Let's clarify here, Cancer. Let's clarify. Tell us about the Seven of Pentacles, please. Whoa, whoa, too many. Tell us about the Seven of Pentacles. Well, we got too many, Cancer. Um, but I'll take them. We got three. And I'm taking them, Cancer. Typically, when the Hermit comes out, I... I typically we'll see like the hanged man in this particular case i'm seeing the wheel of fortune here um and that is exactly what's happening here you have the hermit the page of cups and the wheel of fortune this is someone who has their head in the clouds trying to make a decision this is someone who is taking their sweet time trying to figure out where they stand or what it is that they want cancer but with the wheel of fortune something is going to change while they are in the midst of making this decision like they are going to literally time out on this decision they are going to run out of time in dreaming because a page of cups represents someone who's dreaming right head is in the clouds they're just kicking sand taking all day whistling and d don't even know what day of the week it is so i feel like that's that energy of your person and when things come in cancer they're going to come in they're going to come in this person is going to be shocked um under the deck here you have the seven of wands cancer this is an energy of someone who is being blocked cancer someone who is being blocked so right now this person is looking for patience but they are really wearing their patience down to the limit to the max tell us about the seven of cups like i said this person is uh trying to make a decision they're window shopping cancer taking their sweet time tell us about the page of cups please oops Okay. there's a seven of cups i'm sorry the seven of cups <laughs> and you have the two of swords that is that decision making process taking place and the four of swords and two and four last time i checked make six cancer this is the energy of somebody who is moving on the four of swords represents someone who is looking for answers trying to get truth wanting the truth cancer and with the two of swords somebody is taking their time trying to make up their mind on what information they want to let go of what it is they actually want to reveal and this isn't good enough for you and look at what we have we have the knight of wands in the reverse cancer this is somebody who is no longer being patient this is somebody who is out of patience they are tired of waiting cancer they've waited long enough and now they're moving on that is your energy of walking away while this person is taking their sweet time window shopping window shopper the window shopper <laughs> this person is window shopping cancer and you are not you don't have time to wait this would be a beautiful part two this would be a beautiful part two you don't have to you don't have the time to wait while this person wants to window shop uh cancer you have the ace of swords coming through let's look at the underneath the deck here page of wands cancer somebody who is you know very wanting to get out there this is an extroverted energy somebody who's wanting to get out somebody who is ready to go ready to jump um, they're not wanting to wait for anything, Cancer, and that is your energy all day in a nutshell. You are at the Six of Swords. You are no longer wanting to wait. You've waited on truth long enough. It shouldn't be that difficult. Tell us about the Ace of Swords. I feel like this person is just not wanting to give you that. And now, look, Cancer, Ten of Swords 
and the Knight of Pentacles, Cancer. This is that energy of you ending things, Cancer. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving card in the deck, okay? One of the slowest moving next to like the Hermit energy or the Hanged Man who doesn't move at all. But the Knight of Pentacles, which is moving, is moving very slow. And it is also a very patient energy. Um, or asking for patience, Cancer. But with the Ten of Swords, you're like, I'm out of patience, buddy. The patience left long, long time ago. Patience ran out the door months ago. Okay. Underneath the deck here, you've got the Four of Wands, Cancer. Four of Wands. And that is that energy of wanting that commitment that energy of being committed of having a stable foundation cancer um wanting to get together with friends wanting to have something and with this energy cancer i feel like this person is going to come in at the last minute wanting this from you but it's going to be too late it's going to be too late. Um, but there could be an energy of someone else, Cancer, coming in and offering this commitment as well. Okay, so there's that to think about. Um, this person could just be asking you to, to give them patience or to continue to be patient with them. And they may offer some sort of engagement, Cancer. This person may um you know try to propose marriage at the last minute cancer just because like you're gone and they realize this and out of fear like this person now they want to get married but you're like i i've waited long enough the wait is over um hmm. let's see what's going on with this queen of wands energy cancer now I want to use this deck here. Let's find out about this Queen of Wands energy. Is this person really done with this Queen of Wands? Or is this Queen of Wands going to come back in? Is this person really done with the Queen of Wands energy, Cancer? Ooh, that card flipped over. And you have the Four of Cups in the reverse, Cancer. <laughs> This talks about someone coming back, Cancer, after being, you know, withdrawn for a period of time. This talks about someone who has some sort of sudden awareness and they want to become active again with their partner. Um, I feel like this Queen of Wands is going to be coming back in. After, you know, maybe there is going to be some appearance that this person is disconnected from this third party energy. I do see some something that tells me this person is going to try to come back in cancer, especially with that lover's energy that we uh, have here under the deck. You have the empress here. Cancer, is this you? And you have the Three of Swords. You have the Empress, the Three of Swords, and you've got the Five of Cups. The Four of Cups in the reverse. Somebody is coming back in cancer and somebody is going to get let down about this with the three with the empress and the three of swords cancer and the five of cups. And you have the nine of pentacles under the deck. I feel like cancer this person like I said this person this this queen of wands is coming back in. And I feel like your person is going to cause some sort of letdown or major disappointment. And you are going to cut this person out. You are going to go back into pre-empress energy cancer. 
Because you've got the Empress, the Three of Swords, the Five of Cups, and then now you're back to Pre-Empress. I am going to take this into an extended Cancer just because this is going to be a shorter part two. Um, we're going to take this into an extended. I'm going to do some Oracle for you. I see you walking away from this. I see you actually giving this person another chance, which is what this temperance is or this temperance, this two of pentacles and the seven of pentacles, you going back and forth cancer. But with the nine of pentacles, I feel like after going back and forth and being patient and giving this person another chance, like you're still offering love to this person. And they're looking at the cup, but they're like leaning away from it. Like, ooh, I don't want commitment, you know. Um, and I feel like when you do come back in, this person is going, this Queen of Wands is going to come back in, Cancer. And with this Ten of Wands in the reverse, like this talks about you being completely over a situation. I feel like this person is going to cheat again. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Cancer, Five of Cups again, Three of Swords, the Empress, and now you're in Pre-Empress. We're going into the Extended, y'all. I'm going to pull some uh, Heavy Oracle, and we will focus on the Oracle first, and then we will go straight into the Tarot to clarify. I love you guys so very much. Please take care of yourselves and take care of each other. I will provide the link for the Extended in the description box below for Part 1 and Part 2 of this message. I love you guys more than you know. And take care of each other and take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye.